Secret, who was inclined to pull right behind them, is Lock Roy. It's got the drop on the two leaders approaching the home bend. A length and a half to Diablo being closely followed by Atacama Sky. Around them flying raw, then just magical. Bonnie Be Good has got most of the field in front of it at the top of the running. Last is Pop Hero, 300 left to travel. Stable Secret, tackled by Zionite. Now a run coming for Diablo down on the inside as Lock Roy joins them. Lock Roy, Diablo shooting up along the rail. Further back, flying raw. It's on the outside, Lockroy from Diablery. Just magical and now flying raw. Lockroy is in front though. Lockroy. Lockroy beat Diablery. And then just magical in the middle of those. Third home from Flying Raw. Stable Secret next in, followed by Zionite and Pop Hero. Second last when they'd pulled up Atacama Sky. And uh, the big flopperoo in the race is Bonnie Be Good, who's failed to beat a runner home. Lock Roy. Number four after the disappointment of Battle Heroes run in the idyllic Prince the Stable rebound. And a big blower in the market. Sevens out to fourteens. It couldn't find a pal on track. Not a mate in the joint. But Matted Nil beat Diablery just magical and flying raw. Fourth home and the big disappointment. Bonnie Be Good, who was back last and hasn't passed a runner in. Lockroy at 10.82.30, it's paid decidedly better though on track. Diablerie got the rails run inside Stable Secret shortly after they'd balanced for the run home. But it was Lockroy who'd camped just off pace that cut them all down, the more than ready gilding from Polar Success. The trainer Chris Gan, Jimmy, Peter Nucky there aboard, he gave it a sweet trip and beats Diablerie just magical, flying roar in 111.93. Lockroy, race by Ganjemi Thoroughbreds. Oh, there's a host of owners in this horse, including a race course photographer from Western Race Pick, Simon Mirrett, just to name but a few. All of the usuals in the ownership of Lockroy, and uh, they celebrate with another winner. And that's his fourth victory in 28 starts. So the stable quickly rebounding. Diablery. No excuses. Every hope from Whiting by new approach from Tropical Fury. Bruce Watkins, the trainer, Jay Whiting in the saddle. And Just Magical by Magic Albert from Saucy Tales. Trained by Michael Lane, ridden by Clint Johnston Porter. Third home from Flying Raw. As they come back, margins will be along pretty shortly. Race seven's the Hose Masters handicap over 1600 this afternoon at 4.25 with no changes there. Eight, five, six, and one for race seven. The selections. Margins are ahead by a head. And uh, the sectional 3499 after the running of race number six. Correct weight to come from Belmont Park. <clears throat> now let's head back down to the winner's enclosure with the uh, one million owners involved here in uh, Lock Royal celebrating a victory for Mike Ganjemi and the team. Uh, so many of these connections get such a delight and a real joy out of a winner. And there's the photographer who's a part owner as well, Simon Merritt. And uh, can someone take the camera and at least put Simon in the photo for a change. We'll go back to the yard now and catch up down there following all of the post-race action. Yeah, thanks for that, Darren. Uh, Chris, that was a top performance. Certainly everything worked out beautifully in the run. He's just camped over them. Yeah, he did. Couldn't ask for a better run. Uh, sensational ride from Nux and obviously got him the win because then he just got there in the end. Mm. Yeah, where do you go with Lockroy now? Uh, I just, uh, same sort of race in a couple of weeks. He'll obviously go up a couple of kilos, but um, he's finally starting to repay the owners. He took a while. His first prep here was very disappointing, but um, no, he's had a good prep now, so they should be happy. Mm. OK, and uh, Battle Hero, he, he certainly tugged himself into the ground. Were there any other excuses on pull-up? Oh, the vet said he pulled up with a bit of an elevated heart rate, but um, I'll say he's just had enough, obviously. Um, he'd had a few runs before we got him. We got one good run out of him, but we'll give him a good break now. Mm. Uh, and Floyd, he's pulled up OK? Yeah, he pulled up pretty big, which is uh, no surprise, really. He hadn't trialled and um, only had a couple of gallops, and I, I thought he went super. So uh, i will say in a couple of weeks, um, all going well. He should be able to boot. Mm. Well done, Chris. Good bounce back. Good on you. Cheers, mate. Mm. OK, Chris Gann, Jimmy there. And uh, shortly we'll be joined by Peter Nucky, who gave uh, Lockroy a magnificent ride to uh, get the money. Peter joins me now. Pete, uh, gee, you had a beautiful run. Yeah, we drew a good barrier, you know, and he uh, jumped well to command that position. We didn't want to be too close. We wanted too far back, and 
you know, you hope it plans your way and it sort of, it, yeah, it did plan out really well for us. You had the old warrior, the fish getting uh, up on the inside. No doubt you would have seen him coming. Yeah, well, I thought I knew where he was always inside me and then when he got that inside split, I thought, you know, I was kind of see who's the better horse. You know, he had his chance and we had ours, so, yeah, that no, was good. OK, now you might need God's intervention for Messiah in the last. Yeah, yeah, well, the horse is probably going through a few classes and stuff like that and to see where he's at. I think at this stage he's really a midweek type of horse, but it's not a strong field, and if he can learn how to race genuinely, you know, he can make his way through his grades. Now, I think you've broken 52 minutes before for the city to surf. Are you involved tomorrow? No, I'm not running tomorrow. I've done my drawing a while back, so... No, I'll leave it for you this year, Richie. Geez, you're injury-prone, Pete. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, as we get older. <laughs> yeah. OK. Good on you, Pete. Thanks, mate. Peter Naki there, uh, winning with uh, Lockroy, and gave it a tremendous ride.